Hello everyone and welcome to your Case of the X Tarot Reading. This is for those of you that have a Virgo X as we will be looking at the energies all around Virgo and how they feel about you and the relationship you shared and if they're open to a reconciliation and then also the most likely energies that will play out between you and your ex Virgo in the month of April 2018. So as always, all decks I'm using in this reading are listed in the description box below. So let's see what the overall energy is for your Virgo ex in regards to you and the relationship you shared. And we're only looking at what's going on in um, April 2018, okay? These two, because they were kind of sticking up, I feel like um, belong to this reading. And so we have two energies here for your Virgo. So we have eternal dance, movement, will of life, path of least resistance. Oh my gosh, you want to know, I will just tell you this. For all of you who have a Virgo X, hear this out. I am really close with a Virgo. She has been my friend since I was 17. And she has been with somebody pretty much almost her entire life. And, you know, she told me just the other day, I think I took the path of least resistance. And it's just kind of blowing my mind that here we're talking about Virgo X. You have an X Virgo. And this is saying movement, will of life, path of least resistance. We have two cards here. So for some of you, just because of the context of the conversation I had with my Virgo friend and then this card and the reading that we're doing, you know, if you've had a Virgo breakup with you recently, they may feel that being with you was the path of least resistance for them. Now, that does not mean that they didn't love you and that you weren't like their partner and everything along those lines. But that is definitely a message for somebody. And it's only because that right there and two cards had to come out right so somebody out there you need to know that your Virgo is moving on because that they're, they're following the prompting of their own soul and you know it's not that they don't love you and all of that it's that you know somewhere inside of them they feel like there's something else out there and it's not even about another relationship it's about being true to who they are, what they really want. And for a long time, they may have been sacrificing what they wanted for you. And that's not to say you were asking for them to do that or that you were even aware that they were doing that. But for some of you, your Virgo was self-sacrificing and doing that for the path of least resistance out of love for you to make you happy all the while over the years becoming increasingly more and more unhappy inside of um, their self. So definitely a message for some of you out there with your ex Virgo. Now for the others of you, this um, right here, we have nine of hearts, fulfillment, harmony, protection. So this is like a really interesting card. Um, quite the opposite energy of that there so let me just take this in um, this one I actually feel like some of your Virgo exes want you back like that's the wish of their heart okay so we're gonna because nine of hearts is like our wishes you know like this is what I really 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 want so for some of you you have this Virgo that is truly ready to let go of the relationship and just move on and move forward. For others of you, you have this Virgo who really does want to reconcile. So let's pull some more cards so you can see where you fit into this reading, which one of these is really for you with your Virgo X. 
if you don't outrightly already know, okay? So this is your Virgo, your ex-Virgo's emotional energy around the situation for you and your relationship. So we have the Eight of Cups, quite fitting. So for those that the eternal dance is speaking about your Virgo ex, this is a confirmation that emotionally, yes, they are moving on. And I really, really have to reiterate, and I think the universe had me have this conversation with my Virgo friend so that you could know it is not because your Virgo doesn't, didn't love you and that you weren't everything. It's something inside of Virgo's soul changed and they realized I've been self-sacrificing all this time out of love and I, I can't do that anymore. I have repressed my own soul. It's something along those lines, okay? However it's physically manifested and the broke up happened, that's what happened there. It was not that Virgo didn't love you. So this, for those of you where this is speaking, Virgo is moving on and moving away. Now, for those of you where that is not the case, and again, if you're still confused, let's just keep going through the reading until, you know, something really clicks inside of you. This here, the Virgo that really wants you back, they think you've let go and you've moved on. Okay. So let's take a look at Virgo's mental energy around you and the, your relationship you shared. Okay, so we are at a bit of a stalemate here. <clears throat> This, again, um, this speaks to both of those cards pretty well, regardless of which um, Virgo is yours, which Virgo X. You know, this is like, nobody really wins. It's a matter of pride and ego. And, you know, um, again, for those Virgos who self-sacrificed, this is like the energy that they're in mentally where, you know, so much has been taken from me. It's about me now. And that's not selfish, honestly, because from the Virgo's perspective, what they've been giving is way more of themselves than they should have. And that's not your fault. And I, I don't think the Virgo would blame you for that. I just think the Virgo is at the point where I can't, I can't anymore. You can have everything, I can't anymore. I just, I can't. Now, the other scenario over there, this is where, you know, they're feeling like they've lost and you've won and you're walking away from them. And, you know, either side, um, for here, this energy, Virgo's mental realm, is definitely out of balance when it comes to you and the relationship you shared. There's a lot of emotions um, still playing out. So let's pull a Flames card to get their spiritual energy towards you. Okay, so we have the Three of Flames here. <coughs> this is... Uh, you know, depending on which deck you you are using um, in a tarot deck, this tells me something, and what I'm it tells you a little something different. But what I'm feeling for this reading is this is like where Virgo has feels like they have come as far as they can go. So if this is the situation where Virgo is trying to move on from you. It's because they feel like there's no more growth for them in this situation. Like they've literally come as far as they can travel with you. Love is not enough sometimes, okay? It's just their own soul is really urging them down their destiny. And for whatever reason, your destinies are not intertwined at this time. So there is that. Now the other side of that is pretty much the same thing. You know, the Virgo that really wants you back, that thinks that you've moved on and let go, is they don't feel like there's anything more that they could do 
to get you back to make the relationship work like they've come as far as they can come and you know now it's up to you their ex to reach out to them okay <clears throat> now if you have an ex and I just have to say this because I never want to give false hope if you have an ex who you know has blocked you has been ignoring you doesn't respond to your texts all of that you know I would not take this reading as a message to reach out to them okay because if somebody if you are trying to reach out to somebody and they don't respond ever it's because they don't want to communicate at that time for whatever reason and you know when you've got to think about when somebody's reaching out to you and you're not wanting to communicate you're blocking them and you know let's just say it's not I get it sometimes when we're mad at somebody we need a couple days but I'm talking about when this has been going on for a while if it's been like months and months and months and you have not heard from the Virgo X and any attempt you've made um, you know to reach them or whatever is either completely ignored or you just get like a tiny little second of their time I would take that as Virgo has moved on okay but for those of you you know where there is still communication and it's like Virgos putting themselves out there to you somehow some way then I feel like it's up to you really to make it happen again and if you've blocked Virgo, then, you know, it definitely would be up to you 100% to reach out to them. Which, again, if you've blocked them entirely, I, I just can't imagine you really want them back. But, you know, I guess some people could be passive-aggressive like that. I just, I personally wouldn't play that with somebody that I really care about, you know, no matter what they did. Let's be adults, let's work this out. And... You know what, if you have to act stupid and you can't be mature, then okay, I'm out of here. And I'm not going to talk to you again until you can be a grown-up with me. You know, there's just different energies, so apply it how it fits to you. So we're going to draw a card to see how Virgo is feeling about you specifically in April. How Virgo is feeling about the relationship you shared specifically in April. And then um, how Virgo feels about a reconciliation. Which is going to be kind of tricky with those opposite energies up there, right? Some of you could also, because of that, have, be dealing with a Virgo who is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Or your ex-Virgo feels like you are back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, that's definitely something that's going on here. And if you are the one that's back and forth all the time, your Virgo doesn't feel like there's any more they could do. Okay, it's just like, it's nothing I do is going to change this. And if your Virgo is the one that's back and forth all the time, this is like, there's nothing you could do to change that. You're better served to just kind of cut the Virgo off for now, okay? So, how is Virgo feeling about you? Overwhelmed. I guess that would be appropriate for both situations there. So, thank you, universe, for that. So, you know, whether they really want to walk away or they really want you back, it's they're quite overwhelmed in either situation and either emotion. It's an intense thing for them, okay? On either side, how they feel about the relationship you shared. Depressed, empty, numb, withdrawn. Again, this would be a good card for both energies up there. This says, if even if Virgo walked away from you, it hurt like hell. There is a part of them that died inside. Okay? It, it This is... For this eternal... And look at how well that matches. This eternal dance card... Whatever happened there for you guys... Because some of you... This is some intense energy. It's... The relationship, I feel, had kind of left you both in this place in the end. Where you guys just were not connected anymore... And, you know, you didn't want to let it go, but also you didn't want to hang on. Like, it's just a really heavy, hard situation. 
okay um, and now for the Virgo that really wants you back again it's just like heavy ass energy here either way it's pain you know um, I just feel some really heavy things could have happened for some of you with the Virgo alright how does Virgo feel about a reconciliation with you or like speaking to you? We have um, differential, courteous, admiring. So we have respectful. And I feel like respectful, um, even though there's a few other words associated, this is what the energy is. It's Virgo does not wish you any harm, even if you harmed Virgo. Like they might be really got some crazy dark deep emotions some of them but I just think their spirit shines through and you know respectful they either wish to be respectful to you or they wish you to be respectful to them it's like the only way Virgo is open to you either either energy is if you're coming at them in a very respectful peaceful way like there's no force here there's no anger there's no blaming like there's been too much hurt all right and um some of for some of your exes out there it's like yeah they're back and forth like one moment screw them and then the next moment man i really wish they were back in my world Oh, so let's see why Virgo thinks the relationship had to end or why Virgo feels the relationship is still disconnected in April 2018. So we have risk and oath. So with those, it's like either Virgo is like, it's too risky to trust your word or you feel like it's too risky to trust Virgo because we have risk and oath. So that's going to kind of resonate differently for each of you, really. This is a general reading, but Virgo just feels like it's too risky um, to be with you like even if they really want you back it's just like there's this element of risk or like even if they really want you back they feel like you see them as a risk like you can't trust them there could have been some commitment issues here some of you this Virgo really does love you and wants you like you are their heart's desire but they're not ready to commit yet you know it's too much of a risk because it's just like Virgo is going to be really in tune with their the call of their soul in 2018 and they're going to be making choices that don't make sense to anybody else but the thing is is they're following the guidance of their own soul which is what we all need to do and so even if they have great desire for somebody or something if it doesn't resonate with their soul they're not going to they're just not it's just not happening all right so let's see how the energies between you and your Virgo X have the potential to play out in April 2018 so we have engagement and this could be the one. Okay. Well, I think that um, this is speaking to this, not so much this. Um, just because this is what's come out, I can pretty much say if this is where you fall in this energy, it's like it's over. In April 2018, it's over for Virgo. Um, if anything, it's like your Virgo ex is getting with somebody else. Okay? Now, if you fall into this energy, 
this is definitely, you know, a possibility. Like, some of your Virgo exes really do want you back out there. And I think you know who you are. If they're, if you're questioning it, I'm not so sure. Like, you just, you'll know. And if you don't, ask the universe for a sign. Like, the same sign times three to confirm whatever you are feeling in this reading, okay? Because some of you, your ex Virgo really does want you back. But they feel like they've come as far as they can come. They've done as much as they could do. Like, they feel like you have walked away from them you have abandoned them but with this energy engagement it's like if you reach out and engage your energy to theirs there will be this reconnection and you know this could be the one you both could be really feeling each other again okay but um just make sure you know which scenario you truly fall into so let's see why you are still holding on to your Virgo X. <clears throat> so some of you like this. I know that Virgo's the Virgin and the Empress is pregnant, but this is such the Virgo energy to me as I see it. And fertility, Mother Earth Gaia, you know, accommodating, healing, nurturing, all these things. So this here is saying you are having a hard time letting go of your Virgo because of that energy of who they are. It's, you probably feel like you've never felt that. So it's something about their energy and you're just like, ah, oh, in it. But for others of you, this is like, you really thought like Virgo was the one till the end of time for you. Like you believed that 100% in your heart. You thought that was the one. So let's pull out some advice cards for you guys on how to best <clears throat> handle your Virgo X in the month of April 2018. So we have smudging ceremony. Many um, this is coming out in many readings. This means you should really balance your energy. Um, you should do some sage in your house, um, in your own aura. Do some reiki if you can. Um, healing meditations. There's lots of them on YouTube. But this is saying you really need to clean your energy field and balance it. Maybe even balance, rebalance your chakras. It will just this, I feel, is to help you feel better. You could also smudge the energies between you and the ex Virgo to try to clear the air, okay? Owl medicine. This is saying that um, those of you who are watching this, ask for that sign if there's any confusion about which one of these energies is supposed to be for you but more than that it's saying you already know deep down inside like you truly do this your intuition is on point is what this says but ask for a sign if you need to and tracker so you need to you know I'm not surprised with that you need to really balance your energies your chakras inside of yourself and once you do that and you don't feel so scattered you're just gonna feel so much better and different regardless of what energy you fall into okay so the universe is really saying listen X of Virgo balance your energy heal your energetic wounds and you know the truth within. You just, you do. Okay? So those are the messages I have for those of you with a Virgo X. I hope that this was helpful, even though there was a lot going on. And I truly wish you all the best for April. Take care.